Hi everyone, we're here with Newbie Byte number 10. We are on list part two. This time we're gonna specifically talk about list indexing. The items in the list are ordered. This means that Python keeps an index of them starting at zero. The first item in the list, item number one, has an index of zero. The second item, item number two, has an index of one, and so on for as long as your list is. Python is what's called zero indexed, which just means that it always starts counting from zero instead of counting from one. Let's head back to our list and see what this looks like. Here we have the same list that we had from the last video. I'm gonna copy this list and I'm gonna paste it into something called the Python tutor. So if I open up a web browser, I'm at pythontutor.com. This is a really awesome tool that you can use to visualize any number of programs that you're writing in Python. So here's the same list that I have in my terminal. I'm going to click visualize execution, and then I'm going to click next to run the first line of the code here. So you'll see here, it says that line one, it read movies. And now you can actually see that each item in my list has an index. So Star Wars is index of zero. The Dark Knight has an index of one, Rush Hour has an index of two, all the way to the end of my list. If you've never seen pythontutor.com, I highly recommend that you go check it out as you're playing around. It gives you a very nice visual feedback for what's actually happening inside the code. To start, I'm just gonna print out the entire object of movies and see what that looks like. And you can see it prints out the entire object. Heading back to our editor, this time I'm gonna print movies, and at the end of the object name, I'm gonna add square brackets, and I'm gonna pass in the index. Let's run Python one more time, and you can see that it prints out just Star Wars. Let's try this again, I'm gonna copy this line, paste it here, and this time I'm gonna replace this with the number five. And one last nice little trick that we have here is if you do negative one, this will always be the last item in the list. So now if we print this out again by running the code, you'll see that I get Star Wars, Shaft, and Back to the Future. Let's open this up one last time. I'm gonna add in a, another one. I'm gonna say, you know what, actually, I'd really like the original Batman as well. You'll notice that when I print this out now, Movies 5 is going to print out a different movie, but Movie 0 it will still be Star Wars, and Movie Negative 1 will still be Back to the Future. Run it with Python. There it is. We can see that the movie in Index 5 shifted. It is now Ocean's 11, but Star Wars and Back to the Future remained at the very beginning and at the end. Good luck on today's bite.